Hi, I'm Brittany with County Systems, and today we're going to be pressing the iPod 4 and 5 cases. And so we've brought a couple with us today. We have the 4 and the 5. They both come in white and black. And then we have our three different colored inserts. You have your satin silver, satin gold, and white. And the one we'll be doing today is for the iPod Touch 5. I've brought the image we're going to display, some heat tape, a couple sheets of protective paper, and our insert and substrate. So we'll go ahead and we'll do, let's choose the white insert. Set everything else aside. We want to make sure that there's no protective film, which there is. And if you're not positive, you can put it underneath your heat press for a few seconds, see if it bubbles up. And sometimes it's easier to get a corner to peel. But we're going to make sure that we're going to remove that protective film. If we left it on there, it could distort our image and it can melt onto our press, which would be damaging to it. And once we remove our protective film, we can align it with our image. And our image is just slightly larger than our actual insert, which is make sure we get the entire insert covered. We're going to be doing one of our newer digital downloads imaging on there with our initials. It's very popular as well. Just very quickly, I'm going to put a couple pieces of heat tape to secure my image in place when we move to our press. Now that we have our image secured with our insert, we're going to move to our press, place a sheet of protective paper on the bottom, grab our transfer and our insert, make it so that my image is face down, add another sheet of protective paper on the top, and we're going to do a quick press using a medium pressure, you'll want to be sure to refer to the instructions on our website. It's going to be the most current and it will work with the equipment that you have. So a quick press and we should be able to assemble our case. And that sound means we're done, so we're going to lift and swing away on our press. We'll move our transfer right away. Give it a few seconds to cool as well. Give it enough time to cool and we'll be able to finish the assembly on our case. The next step is we're going to do a simple peel. We're going to remove the backing. We have a double stick tape. We'll align our insert with the shape of our case. It's very easy to do. Make sure that we secure it inside. Press on it firmly. Make sure it's not going anywhere. And then our last, we'll be able to add our iPod Touch 5 inside the case. Oops. Make sure that you put the buttons on the inside first and then it's a nice little snap in. And we have a great little case. The difference really between the 4 and the 5 is the different model with the iPod Touch. You actually have the little lanyard space. So that's really the difference in the case itself is you'll notice that there's two different holes. So on the inserts, make sure you pay attention to so that we're using the right inserts for the right case. For all of our products and services, be sure to check out our website at condi.com and watch more of my videos at conditv.com. I'm Rudy Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.